Do you want to be big, lean, and healthy as a vegan, but you don't know what fillings to put in your sandwiches? Don't worry, we've got you covered with these three recipes spread spectacular. <laughs> spread recipe spectacular, whatever. <laughs> First on the agenda, fragrant, savory, with a tangy sweet tint of mango, is delicious coronation chickpeas. Add boiled water to 35 grams of dried mango and let it sit for five minutes to soften. Drain a can of chickpeas, save half for later, and crush the rest with a potato masher. Slice one spring onion, you may know these as scallions or green onions, and add it to the chickpeas. Chop one tablespoon of coriander, aka cilantro, and add it in along with four tablespoons of unsweetened soy yogurt, one and a half teaspoons of mild curry powder, one teaspoon of lemon juice, plus salt and pepper to taste, and stir well. Drain and then chop the mango. Add it in and give it all a final mix. This recipe yields 307 calories, 12 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat, and the volume of the mixture is ideal for four slices of bread. Next, a highly flavorful vegan twist on an old favorite, vegan cress. Add 100 grams of firm tofu into a bowl and mash into little pieces with a fork. To another bowl, add 50 grams of silken tofu, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, one tablespoon of cashew butter, half a teaspoon of turmeric, plus salt and pepper to taste, and mix until smooth. If you want a really authentic eggy taste, you can also add one eighth of a teaspoon of black salt, AKA Kala Namak. I don't add it myself as I've never liked eggs and this recipe tastes fantastic without it, especially when you add in lots of cress. Add the mayo in with the veggs, combine well, and the spread is ready to go. This recipe yields 261 calories, 21 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of fat, and the volume is ideal for two to three slices of bread. And finally, another savory plant-based delight, our tuna mayo, which has convinced many a tuna lover. Add hot water to 30 grams of frozen sweet corn and set aside. You could also use canned sweet corn, which is tastier with a superior texture. Mash half a can of chickpeas with a potato masher. Add in half a shredded nori sheet to give it a fish-like flavor. I personally choose to omit this step, preferring it without. Half a tablespoon of tamari, one teaspoon of lemon juice, plus salt and pepper to taste, and mix well. For the mayo, add 70 grams of silken tofu to a bowl, along with half a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, one tablespoon of cashew butter, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and quarter of a teaspoon of garlic, and combine until smooth. Pour the mayo over the tuna mixture and combine. Add a quarter of a chopped small red onion and the drained sweet corn, and give it a final mix. This recipe yields 308 calories, 21 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat, and the volume of mixture is ideal for four slices of bread. Now we'll make the sandwiches up and give them a try. Of course, you're not just limited to the good old Sanger. These fillings can go in wraps, baguettes, pitters, rolls, and on bagels. You could even use them on baked white and sweet potatoes, or if you're going super low calorie, just have them alongside a large salad. If you want to optimize your health, body shape, or sports performance without harming animals, head over to hengeherbivore.com where we offer meal plans, coaching, consults, and cookbooks. See you in the next video.